what we have here is the Titan Cryos. It's a microscope that is one of a few in the world. Uh, it's in a big box, as you can see. But uh, with this microscope, we can look at very tiny things like this virus. This is a fish virus. It's one of the largest viruses that we know about. And the reason why we study this virus is because it's an important uh, pathogen in the infection of fish. And if we want to develop a fisheries or aquaculture, then obviously knowing what kinds of, of uh, viruses that infect the fish is important to study. But more importantly, we use this microscope to study many other things. And one of the big projects here uh, is a, a project to study dengue virus. Uh, this is led by an assistant professor at Duke NUS, uh, Professor Shimei Locke. And uh, with this microscope, she wants to determine not only the structure of the virus, but we just got a Tier 3 award from the government to study how the dengue virus uh, assembles. Now, one reason why I came to Singapore was because I wanted to do something that I couldn't do at MIT. And it wasn't just this microscope that was the attractant, but it was the possibility of being able to see what something like dengue virus does. And the key word here is dynamics. We want to see it in action. But as you can see here, the picture of the virus, uh, the virus is frozen in water. So obviously it can't do anything. It doesn't move. But we've developed methods here in Singapore in which we can put viruses or other structures in water and preserve it in the vacuum of the electron microscope. And hopefully now we'll be able to watch a virus such as this do its thing. And uh, that would make uh, uh, our research here in Singapore very unique and hopefully uh, very important.